Hello, hello, good morning. That that woke you up. We are here today because it is mod rock casting part three day. Not that ringy. It is my third. Where's the camera? Third attempt at making a cast. Yeah. For you guys who watched my first and second video, I'm not too vain to think like, oh, you guys just watched all my videos. I'm not that vain. For those of you who have, you guys are my favourite. One and two did not go to plan. Yeah, so one and two did not go well. One was one cracked. I'm going to turn the light off so you can see it. This is what I ended up with. There was a forehead with it. It wasn't that impressive, the forehead. It didn't have many features on it. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to keep the bottom half, but the top half, you know. That one cracked, the first one. And the second one is not here because it was like into the bin. Because it was just, it was, it was atrocious. Okay, fine. Mm. So number two did not go well it was crumbly and it just I, I tried putting the plaster in like it was starting to set and clump and then oh. so this third one went a bit better because you learn from your mistakes it's not as, as beautiful as this <laughs> joking the third one i did a deeper cast so i did it my whole head so that i would have like a full helmet almost of modra with this you do need to be cut out of it i warned my mom about this before i plastered my entire face i was like hey mom she was like what and i was like <laughs> wanna do me a favor she was like what are you gonna do well what's gonna be damaged and i was like fear not only my face will be damaged jokes she didn't like that joke very much I plastered my entire face and I told my mom she's gonna have to cut me out of it because of how much mod rock I'm planning on using. So I told her that and then I went upstairs and I did my plaster. I literally went downstairs with mod rock all over my face and all around the back as well. You got a picture of the white mod rock everywhere. And this is how I approached her. Hmm. <laughs> she was like, oh. Why did I encourage you to go into the arts? I'm joking. She loves me doing the arts, but she doesn't like cutting me out of plaster. I think that's where she draws the line. Or suffocating me with alginate. She doesn't like that either. She gets very stressed. So once I cut it out, I had to replaster the back because obviously we'd snipped up it. So I had to replaster that crack that we just snipped in it. And it was a full mold then. So I was like, it's like let's get going. And for those of you who watched the other video, which I know all of you have, the other video showed me like mixing it up in what I called a sick bowl. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. So let's do this plaster. Let's put it in the cast. I also ended up using my dad's uh, pen tub. He has like, you know, like a little um, Tupperware. He had a little Tupperware tub. Literally, me and my mom were left alone in the house and I was like, Mom, I need a receptacle for all of this plaster that I'm going to make. She was like, we can just empty your dad's pens out of it. I was like, don't you think you'll notice? And she was like, no. But it ended up being too small that it, we eventually resulted in a big box and a ladle. And I was like, mixing this plaster. Like, it was setting so it was starting to solidify and i was like <gasps> i was like oh, oh no i done that and it turned out all right actually i did have some concerns as you will see in this video so this is me mixing everything together it's pretty self-explanatory, so I'll just let it do the talking. The powder is the plaster of Paris, and you mix it with warm water. Mm. 
And there's the, the tub that I ended up using. And you can just see the cast in the top middle. I should have really got the cast in the center of the frame, but sorry guys. So as you can see, I'm just putting that in the cast in the top corner there, smoothing it out with a spoon. And I needed more plaster, so I had to make more because I didn't make enough. Time is also of the essence because the plaster was starting to dry in the cast, so I had to be super quick to make sure that I could pour this over it and for it to solidify at the same time. So I'm making a third one because that's still not enough plaster. So again, time is of the essence, so I had to do this really quickly. This mixture wasn't as good as the other two. Um, it was a bit clumpy, but you know, I was expecting that, so no worries. Okay, as you can see, I've got like a, a big crack. I have tried to put PVA glue in it because apparently that is best for sticking plaster together. But, you know, who am I to know? So I've left it for quite a few days and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try and get it out now. Ooh, ooh, that's not good. Let me try and cut you out of here. I'm not quite sure how this is going to work out. So 
Move it the right way. I can't. Pretty sure I'm gonna have to destroy this cast to actually get it off. Okay, I do have a hole in my head, which is probably not meant to be there. So there I am. Let's see if I can lift me up. I'm a bit sticky because I don't think the glue is completely dry. Let's see if I can swivel it around. So it is, a, it is a little bit messy, not gonna lie, um, but the glue seems to be doing quite well actually. See in, in the cracks there, you can see the glue, so that, that worked, that worked quite well actually. Okay. Okay, so I'm just on to sanding down the mould. I used the detail sander, which is the large clunky one that you can see there, contrary to its name. But it's actually really good for this kind of thing. I did try the rotary tool, but I felt that it was too detailed, that it was leaving marks that I didn't really want or need. I just wanted to smooth out the shape. So, I use the detail sander for most of it. I found that when I was sanding though, some of the glue that I'd used to stick the cast pieces together uh, came off, which was, was a bit gross, they came off in like gooey chunks, but that's okay because I, I can replace that glue. But all in all, I think it went quite well. Okay, here we are at the end. Doo -doo. <laughs> you made it to the end. Congratulations. Very proud of you. So I had done the cast and it cracked in the middle of my face, much like this one. Ooh, I've got plaster all over me. So there is a crack in the middle of it and that did concern me and I was like, oh no. But the PVA glue worked really well. Because I was like having a little googly search, you know, I was like and it said PVA glue was the best glue for plaster. So I was like, I think you're pulling my leg, sweetie. I tried it anyway. So I glued it together with PVA glue and it resulted okay. I took it out the cast, opening a Christmas present. The cast looked okay. I was like, okay, I see you girl. You're looking all right. Oh yeah, you've just seen all the sanding. <laughs> 
that stuff. So after the sanding, I then actually put a coat of PVA glue over it. Did you know that you can get clear PVA glue? I don't mean like it dries clear. I mean, where is it? I'm going to show you. This is, this is what you think PVA glue looks like. This is normal. This is like, oh, that's PVA glue. That is what I know. That is brilliant. So that is what we think of PVA glue. Right. Is anyone else like, huh? Huh? Who? What? So I came home and I was like, Mom, she's like, yeah. Did you know that PVA glue is clear? That you can get clear PVA glue? She was like, I don't think you can. I was like, she was like, what? Yeah, so I did a PVA glue coating on it just to keep it together like you know coffee keeps my life together this is what i ended up with i'm gonna turn the light off so you can see does it look like me i don't know whether it looks like me and i've got like this dint <laughs> in the side of my head um but i think that's where the plaster didn't settle properly but i'm very pleased with it anyway you know i can do some shakespeare we or not do we? That is the question. Contrary to popular belief, I don't know what I'm doing most of the time. I think it turned out really well. Um, I don't have time to make another one, um, or the resources to make another one, because I went through two buckets of plaster of Paris and all my mod rock bandages. So I don't have the capacity to make another one. So this is going to have to do. So. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please like, subscribe, follow, do, 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 do. you know, all the usual bits and bobs. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.